What's up everyone, ToeMTG here with another Commander gameplay. Now before we do get started, I just want to mention uh, my next milestone, which would be 250 subscribers that I want to reach. And if I do reach that, I will be hosting a live event of me opening three Commander Legends draft boxes. And in between opening the packs, what I'll be doing is I'll be giving away some fetch lands. And it could be from... Marsh Flats, I believe, is the cheapest. It's either the Marsh Flats or Erd Mesa, all the way up until the Cons fetch lands. Maybe an Onslaught fetch land. Who knows? It's still too early. But anyways, let's get started here. Starting with myself, I'll be playing a Morphon the Boundless Ally Typal deck. New to the channel, on Kick Sleep, playing his Sadar Jabiri of Zafir Typal Knight deck. Also new to the channel, Mara playing her Mono Green Grun, the Lonely King deck. And back with us today, Jake playing his Erwin Shield Maiden deck. Alright guys, mulligans have been resolved. Jake is going first. Let's get started. Alright, Jake starting off. Tap it one to cheat out his soul ring as a cheater that he is. I just play land go. Sleep. Also with this cheating ways, taps one for a soul ring. Then our Mara's up next with her Birds of Paradise. Jake is up next again, playing as Denethor Stone Seer. Where he scries two, puts them both on the bottom. Then I go, just play my land and say go. Then sleep is up next. For a wing commando, yeah. Then Mara just plays her land and just passes the turn. All right, Jake is up next, and as the bully that he is, he decided to use his creature's ability to take out the Birds of Paradise so that he could become the Monarch. Yeah. Then he goes past the turn to me, which at this point, I am now regretting keeping that hand and discard a card. Sleet is up next, and please keep in mind he is still new to the game, so he will be making mistakes such as this one coming up here, where he tapped three for Night of Dawn. Uh, we didn't catch it, but we also know that he's pretty new to the game, so please take it easy on him. He does swing Jake for two and become the Monarch and passes a turn. Mara plays her land for a turn. And just passes, and Jake is up next. Which at this point, he plays his commander, Erwin. Then I go, still didn't pull that land, and just discard. Alright, Sleet's up next, and he plays his combat courier. Then he plays his Anzanguinator Cavalier. Or Calvary. Mara then goes. Taps four for a bristling boar. And at this point I am jealous that everyone plain spells. As I cannot. Alright. Jake is up next. He does tap enough to play Verge Rangers. Which is a very good card. In case you're in my situation right now. I wish I had one of those. He does play his land for turn from the top deck. He does create two tokens during his combat step using his commander.
Then he swings his two tokens at me, and I go down to 36. Then he passes a turn, and once again, I regret my decisions. Discard a card and go. Sleet is up next, and he just places an order of midnight, just a creature side. He doesn't use the ooh, that's the spell book side, I believe it's called. I never knew what it was called, actually. Then he draws a card of being a monarch and passes a turn. Then Mara is up next, and she just went ahead and cast a worldly tutor on her turn, like a boss. Yeah. Then Jake is up next. He looks at the top card to see if it's a land. Which he ends up playing. Then he taps enough to play a Baragond of the Guard, which just makes his deck even beefier than it ever is. He goes to his combat, makes more tokens. He ends up having six humans on the board, so he gets to draw a card from his commander. Then he swings his tokens. They all have vigilance due to the guard, and he swings it all at Sleet, and Sleet just decides to take it all. Doesn't even bother to block. And he takes a total of 22. Jake becomes a monarch again, and he just draws. I went ahead and go, and I just played my Vampiric Tutor, and guess what I'm about to get? A land! Yeah! Oh, man. And Sleet is up next, thinking what he should do. And he just casts his general, Sadar Jabiri. And once again, please go easy on him. He is still new to the game. We understand now that he didn't have the correct lands to play his spells, but we're taking it easy on him. Then Mara is up next, taps enough to play her Oracle Moldile that she starts with the Worldly Tutor, plays her two lands. Then she just passes a turn over to Jake. And here comes the pain. He goes ahead and taps for Visions of Glory making more tokens. And as the tokens come in, the guard pumps up his board and gives him all Vigilance as well. He does use the dice above the guard just to keep track of the amount of plus one plus one that's given to all the creatures. Goes to combat, creates two more tokens, draws his card because he has more than six humans. Then he brings in that pain. We all take the damage. Sleet does block, or actually, he actually just takes it all. I go down to 12, Mara goes down to 18, and Sleet goes down to 6. He draws a cover being a monarch and passes a the turn. Then it's my turn. As the boss that I am, I went ahead and untapped the stopping ground to play the Far Seek. Then I went ahead and played a Beast Caller Savant just to have a creature on the board. Because you know what? I want a creature on the board.
Sleep doesn't do much, he doesn't play any spells, he just goes straight to combat. And he wants to take back the Monarch, so he just went ahead and swings at Jake, which Jake just takes. So he gets down to 34. Mara is up next. She taps 2 for that Arcane Signet. Then she taps enough mana to play Nylea's Forerunner. She goes to combat, tries to swing at me with the Forerunner, as a cheater that she is. We end up realizing her mistakes and called her a cheater right then and there. And just takes it back, and I just go down to 6. Then Jake is up next. At this point, he's just counting his band to see what he can do. He taps for Riders of Rohan. Creating some plus one plus one, giving everything vigilance. Creating more tokens, giving everyone plus one plus one. And at this point, he path to exile the forerunner as revenge, trying to cheat. She, she ended up searching her land, which there was really no point as he just decides to swing all out and wins the game. Yeah, go Jake. Review time. All right. Well, for those who were new to Commander or just want to get another pre-con deck for Commander, Erwin Shield Maiden Riders of Rohan is probably the best I've ever seen in a very long time. It just seems like the only thing you got to add is stuff like Impact Tremors, Perforos, and Damage Multipliers, and that deck can get nasty. But hope you guys enjoyed. I know my deck didn't do too well. I kind of got greedy because I had my opening hand did consist of the Beast Caller Savant and Far Seek. I was really hoping to pull a forest card. That didn't happen. Whatever. Uh, if you did like the video, feel free to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel so that way we can hit that next milestone. Comment down below so that way we can go and beat that algorithm. And yeah, peace out guys.